Hey, you go see wings, they fly for afternoon. Is it true? No lie. Please, I will share one story with you. Hey. So, my daddy's house is in is deep in the village. From the main road to my daddy's village is thick woods. Very thick. And we've known that our road to be very, very frightening. Either way, with the out go, night grove and all that. Night grove is burial. Low. Nobody said that party. Burial. Person die. Nobody said a night club. You don't that. So, and witches operates. We see them. Dangerous. So there was this faithful Do night. you see them spiritually or you see them physically? Wait, that is please. This one I was not told. I was the one involved. And then there are snakes in the in in the village which can actually strike which it does strike but we do have a natural plant that when you carry it in your hands when the snake smells it it stays as long as you carry it and if you chew it when you're going out if it strikes you you don't get hurt but this particular day i went out it was late night i'm sure it was almost 12. so you know palm palm wine it has a special tree, not the regular palm fruit tree that they take palm wine out from. The, there is a palm wine tree that has some rope on the body. I don't know how they call it. It's a palm wine tree specially made for that. It pulls out palm wine from it. Nice tree, natural stuff. So they have them plenty in that wood as you go through that particular street of mine. Our house seems to be the first house, but it's a long woody road, thick forest. Here am I coming in the middle of the night. That the freeze, I'm not kidding you. There was lightning on that palm wine tree like this from up to down. Oh, my body was so big, I couldn't lift my legs. I saw this thing. I waited for like five seconds, I'll be five minutes, I couldn't lift my legs walking. How I walked past that place, when I shared the story, they said you were lucky they didn't blind you. It's witches and wizard thing is, it's, um, I would say it's, it's a hobby in my village. It's a hobby. It's so a we hobby. go collect wings. They will give you if you not shut your eye. They will give you mostly. They will give you when you are ignorant. They will give it to you. They will use and they operate for your village, me for your family. Anyhow, they go. So it's very true. It does exist. But if you allow it, that is when it has a grip on you. Sorry. So when the lightning was entering, the we were entering. It was. Why would do you want to see lightning in the middle of the night on the palm tree? I mean, on the palm um, palm wine tree. And it wasn't raining. It wasn't raining. It was not the middle of the day. Did okay, that was people gather, or it just or it just only the light. The light is that. Okay, I'll tell another one. So, this guy, this this guy, will sleep in one room. He will not come out. You don't touch that door in that his house. So apparently, when he stays, he will go out as a python. He's a witch, a wizard. I mean, you go and grab eggs in somebody's poultry, plenty eggs. So, so the owner of the poultry, you know, poultry ideally the layers is, uh, is are supposed to lay at least one egg every 24 every hours. so apparently the the owner of the poultry was losing significant amounts of revenue the eggs were not adding up so he got, got some juju to check what was going on lo and behold this guy had gone out as usual as a python to pick up this Egg. Eggs. Just about when he was about leaving, the juju that was installed there struck the fool. 
he couldn't get he couldn't move that night so the 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 honor of the poultry when he woke up with the money he allowed everybody to come and see him i went there the python was talking as human you saw the python talk as human daddy freeze this is village things don't mess around with these guys they are not playing and then because of you, you know village now they beg they beg they beg so the guy said this pay the egg where this guy don't steal from man he reach a bill house reach linton linton like where you go put the roof if he grease he go do him then he go free him it was one short broom like this after he agreed the family was so ashamed remember the room he sleeps nobody touched it because if he had gone into that room to touch his body when the body returns he won't fit into it hmm. it was one short broom that they hit it and the thing disappeared i was in the village you saw the thing disappear he daddy freeze this one in the village I can tell you so many village things. I grew up in the village. Forget you know you come you come regularly, so you go to give us one one village gist anytime you come. <laughs> this one is enough for us to hold. I grew you. up in the village, like concentrated village. That is why, like I always say, I don't take any material things so personal because when those things know they will survive, people are still in that my village. They are still surviving and they are very happy. So you. Now you can't get one small thing. You won't come to the show, say you don't arrive. No, it doesn't bug me. It comes, you go. After all, I can still go back to my village and continue my old, you know, village life. It doesn't change anything. Village, uh -huh. real village things. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, having said this, you found out that myself, Daddy Freeze, and a lot of us listening, we were born during the millennial time. They told us a lot of things. We saw a lot of things. But now, this is the Gen Z's. In fact, we've even moved to Gen Z's Alpha. So things mm. have changed over the years. Digital has set in. The things your parents told you back in the millennial time, they are obsolete. They've expired. You went to college to study where they did not introduce you to digital opportunity. They didn't tell you about computer. They didn't tell you about what we are seeing today. They didn't tell you about internet because they didn't know. Don't get me wrong. Our parents only shared what they knew. Mm. Fact, mm. They shared us with miracles that don't exist anywhere. I'm sorry to say it. Mm. They made them like it is the digital things we are enjoying today. They made it look like it is the hard work you put in to make money today. Miracle, miracle, miracle. Unfortunately, that if I stand to be corrected, miracle don't exist. The only time I believe in miracle is when STEM cannot solve that problem. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. If those... As I do you like this, I saw somebody to do like this for Facebook. If those four things cannot solve that problem, then talk to me about miracle. But I can tell you 99.9% .9 either of those four things science technology engineering and mathematics will always provide solution for you i believe in my creator god so after god for me it is science miracle don't exist and they painted us with miracles and you are sitting down there waiting for a miracle to happen you go wait till thy kingdom come and, and science technology engineering and mathematics is the way to go these four things has a process they have a process that we don't want to go through so i'm sorry to disappoint you the things our parents told us during the millennial days 80 percent of them are obsolete very obsolete so hold on sorry it is if somebody said something make i just quickly address them they said you don't believe in miracles but you believe in your village juju your village is it's an authentic black man's black experience. Magic. Your miracle is what your pastor sold to you. Wilfred, when we are done with this live, send me your email address. 
<laughs> one man where they do healing up and down, we even get healing school. Mm. One person where attend the school, say when they go there, they, they teach people how to scam. Just, Let me tell you something here. Eh? Let me tell you something here. Eh? If you see original village juju, you call Jesus, Jesus go run, leave you. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why they were able to over the, the white people were able to conquer us is because they made sure we were disunited. Mm -hmm. Because one on one, you cannot use Jesus to scatter native juju. Native juju never get your time. You go there, Jesus. Go ahead, you, want you, want you want to play with Amadioha? I be want to play with Shongo. This, this, this is African culture. culture. Do you think they they, they mumble nonsense? Arabata, ribete. <laughs> By the time they start calling those incantations, Baba, you go, you go there all right. You go there all right. You go there. You are telling me you don't believe in miracle. Which miracle? Which ninety-nine percent like... of what you are seeing online as me. I was watching one pastor today. He was saying, eh, eh, he went to one house. They say one man one pie. He come begin to pray for the guy. And the after a while, I saw that the people know the thing. I come begin to pray heavy prayer. Mm -hmm. God no good. Let you see better winch. See, that is what African people or we as African we use our own exposure or the little that our creator Oluwa Abasi Chuku showed us. Oyubo brought us G.O.D. which is God. It's a nomenclature. No disrespect. That is what Oyubo brought us. But that's not what, where I'm going to. My mm. focus is this. If you are not adopting a growth mindset where you move away from miracle money, you don't exist. And I told you that my village people, they are doing the juju, they are doing the witches and wizards. They are still living in poverty. Okay, do you want to also live in poverty? That's what I told you. I grew up to see this, but I decided to take the bull by the horn to change my own narrative. As a matter of fact, that the freeze, chunk of my village people will live for Lagos. They will do a murder. House boy, house girl. You, you know Calabar people now. Boy, boy, boy. Eran boy, Eran girl. I did it too, but I knew that's not where I belonged. I decided to follow my Yoruba people where they say now book be, be their own. I said I want to read book and become an elite. So mm. at the end of the day, the decision and the choice is yours. But as of today now, we are living in the digital world. I must confess to you. Tech is taking over. And I can tell you the next two three four years you might not be relevant again in your industry and this is where i am always very very polite to bring that freeze into this conversation when i knew that he freeze he was doing analog he was working this instagram we didn't know where instagram was going we we're just having fun with it we didn't know but you see what he has done he decided to digitalize his skill set as a journalist what are you digitalizing? We don't have factories, we don't have labs, we don't have research centers where you go to exercise your brain power. Okay, now they brought us tech. There are certain texts that you can jump into without going to the lab to work on codes, to work on programming. But you can plug into those like data analysis, business uh. analysis, product management. You definitely took a lot of courses in college. And these are affordable for you to monetize from the comfort of your home. That if he doesn't leave his house now, that is where he sits. He is doing the digital journalism. He's a, he's a veteran journalist. If some of you don't know what he does, he's a journalist. That is what he has done for years consistently. If they take away this internet, that if he will go back and work for radio station or TV station. As I am like this, they still they give me offer every day. I see they get radio job off our yes, so now me who just get the power. Yes, so. So, so if they take away internet today from a lot of us, do you have something you can fall back on? That if freeze has a job, he's a journalist. He's a journalist. So today I want to introduce you to digital tech opportunity. You don't need to know coding. You don't need even to have degree. You don't need to have had um computer background. I studied chemistry, 
Federal Polytechnic at UKT. When I go to that school, I felt that Malola was our chairman, governing council. That's when I first met him. He's a genius. Whenever he comes to talk to us, he will come down there and talk to us. He's a genius. I didn't know that the land that was opposite the school was his property where he was getting ready to build the the, the old school. school. Yeah. So think about it. Today now, people are sitting down at home and making money. I came to the US to train as a pilot. But some few things made me make that decision. One, pilot was going to be taking me away from my family. I I will no one make another man they help me for us. I be Calabar man. Hmm. That's number one. But two, pilot don't get paid well like they pay tech. I said this all, all the time in the US. If by the, if by the time they want to pay me the money I'm collecting now as a pilot, I would have been retiring with gray hair on my head. Now as I young now, now I need the money. Now I need the money. Now speaking about process a lot of us don't want to go through a process i don't care about the course you read in school you still have your mind you have your brain you can read you can think you can transition and i tell young people especially men that if it's when you are younger let's say 20 21 22 23 24 even 30 you will see say because you know to get money structure not today your neck go long you know go too fine but when they enter like 35 40 you will see say you will come they grab you will come they get some body structure at that point stability is setting in because money don't the day your hand mm. some young girls that could not talk to you when you were younger they will come at your beggar call mm. now, it is not that you are handsome or you are ugly it is because there is stability in your pocket so it is expedient that when you are young as a man spend time to build a sustainable process that will offer you a long term money in your pocket so you can mm. so that if you waste your younger age doing nonsense that the freeze was building his journalism career can't you see he's cashing out if you are hitting mm. 40 you still don't know where you are going to you don't know what you are doing you'll be so broke those young young girls including your wife they're going to use you as a round boy that's not what you want to happen. I introduce to you today one qualitative analysis. With qualitative analysis, you can sit in the comfort of your house. After you have been trained, you make money. Even if it's a dollars you make a month, I can tell you for a while, you will be fine. And you live in Nigeria. That's one point something million. A lot of people are cashing out of that money. I mean, out of that program. Now, some of you, even Japan, you are outside of the country like I was. I used to work 110 hours a week. Hmm. Uh, was it fun for me? No, it was just a means to an end. I knew it was just going to be a matter of time. I was going to stop. You don't need coding. You don't need programming. Business analysis is what I started with in the corporate space business and data analysis i teach this class as well you can learn this and you cash out big time some of you might say scrum master is saturated but people are still getting a job out of it you cannot be a business analyst without knowing what a scrum master does or what a product owner and product <clears throat> manager into you hmm. would definitely want to explore all this how about lean portfolio management how about release train engineer these are opportunities that you can delve into. You don't need coding. You don't need programming. I see somebody mentioned cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is good, but here is my caveat. That was my first love. If you are not a citizen of that country, think about it yourself. If you are not a citizen of that country, why would they bring you into their security territory in their organization? Mm -hmm. I'm working as a product manager now um sent valentine seven yes Val i mean product manager and business analysis they are brothers and sisters they are hmm. i teach all these classes i have told you guys i have 31 it certifications i teach about nine of them now 
some of you might want to reach out to me you're not reaching out to me because you know what you want you're reaching out to me because you want to use my village here my village sense to determine what you want to do please don't do that i have a class called zit master class check the link on my profile coach wilfred that's so cool register for that class come there but if you know exactly what you want then you can shoot me a dm or you use the details right in front let of his page. Let me give them the number, Wilfred. Yeah. Plus one eight six zero six three four eight three three six. That's for WhatsApp. Don't call the number. WhatsApp that number now. Some of you are saying all Lamba. The people that said all Lamba six months ago, the ones that did not say Lamba, some of them don't begin to chop the money. <laughs> <laughs> they they lazy Nigerian uh, youth. Lamba, uh, Lamba, you, Lamba, said, Lamba, Lamba. If, they want us to come and gist. If you say Lamba, I don't have a problem if you say Lamba. But before you conclude that, that is Lamba, I have a free class coming up next weekend. Not this one. The upper one, six and seven. I have a free Scrum Master class. Check the link on my profile. Go and register. www.zitworldwide.com. Check the events folder. You will see it. Register. It's free. It's 16 hours. It's a certification class. I won't offer you the certification, but I'll give you the full lesson for it. It's a gift from me to you. So you can register and come. It's a free class. You know how much it costs me to lend that class and to use it to, to come and work. Ziano 411, I want to see you in that class. When you come, I will prove to you that it is not a Lamba. You can go to my page and check it out. It's, I don't have you. I don't pay. Come. That class is $575 to get a certification, but you can come over there and then you should be fine. Someone yeah. says, me, just two plus my master's in cybersecurity. Of course, don't get me wrong. That was my first love. I actually started a program in Harvard extension school for cyber security before my auntie sat me down and gave me that advice i just shared with you don't get me wrong some people are able to get the compliance side of things but a lot of people a lot of people they struggle some of them will go as far as going to join military so they can gain clearance to be able to get into the cyber security space now many people will be wondering can somebody in Nigeria also benefit from this? I have a lot of people in Nigeria who are doing this. This is the ninth or tenth time I've been to Daddy Freeze. Yes, this is the ninth or tenth time. I'm not sure anybody has called Daddy Freeze, except the only one person that called. We went to court. I went to court with that person. Yes, I was called Daddy Freeze. Say, oh, I paid Wilfred the money. He did not come through with what he said he was doing. I'm always live on social media. My, my page is open. I run continuous coaching day after day. I meet with a team of six figure. Now, you can, and I have people who are in Nigeria making six figure, making mad six figure. And some of us are still saying it is not. Why? Because you are looking for miracle. They've soaked miracle into our head. Miracle is He's not going to put money in your pocket. Miracle is, is, is that resource that is bringing you a slave in front of a fellow human who calls himself a Jew. But you see, what you need is update your skill sets with these digital skills. Is it a crime if you learn Excel and you know it very well? Use it to do data capture alone. I have lost count of how many single mothers I have given scholarship for qualitative analysis who are cashing out as I'm talking to you. I wish I could show you one of them. Yewande, Yewande, my um, PayPal to collect the money he's making out of that qualitative analysis. And just so you guys know, I don't make money from that qualitative analysis. My mentees are the one teaching it. I don't make a dime out of it. No. My mentees uh -huh. they, from my platform. I am advertising for them. You guys will go there. They will teach you. They will also help you to monetize what you have learned. 
I don't make a dime out of it. I don't make a dime out of it. No, I don't. Especially those of us that are in Nigeria, that you are still complaining that, oh, you don't have anything to do. Please, go get yourself a laptop. Hmm. Why would a graduate from college and he has no laptop in 2024 hmm. and then he's going to buy a phone for one point something million? Hmm. Why would Will a young girl go to buy iPhone for one point something million, but when you ask them to buy a laptop just for two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, they complain and tell you one million reason why it's not visible. Yet that laptop would have offered them continuous earnings every single month. Mm -hmm. What you need as a young man, as a young woman, as of today, you need a laptop. And a good internet sit on your desk and learn one skill set you know how many remote jobs are on the internet and guess what guys you'll be paid in hard currency if i have not done this to so many people then i will not be here talking to you i i have brought several people on my platform it's not like i paid them some people don't want you to know that they are making six figure Omo, that six figure match. That is why when some people are crying, let me tell you something. If you are listening to me and you are a guy, if you are making mad six figure in America, your wife will not throw you outside of the house. Your wife will not throw you out of, outside of the house. Recently, I was posting the kind of meat and pomo that I eat. I go to the farm and choose the cow I want. They will kill it. I must make sure the cow is very strong and old. I, I don't eat meat from the normal stores because those meat mm -mm, real fair it doesn't look good it doesn't have taste i go to the woods to the farm and point this is what i want they will kill it we will share it and then we'll bring it to the house you need to chop belly food before you say you won't go buy cow mm. so you say oh they suffer in america no 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 check very well in as much as you relocate, even when you went for NYC, when they posted you to an NYC location, I can tell you for a fact, it took you so, some time to settle down. It's the same thing. When you now move from a different continent to another continent, you need some time to settle down. And that time is a process time, it's a learning curve. If you have a plan, if you have a coach who will cut soap for you and show you what to do, in a short while, you're supposed to have had a career where you focus and you grow but no when you come and you are chasing all this minimum wage why won't your wife send you message that if freeze why would a young man who is married come and be driving truck from one state to the other your neighbor go to service your wife for you nina hey. i mean it is hey. that hey will you oh yes because you are out there she's at home by herself she's cold if it's a very cold state ah, what is life you expect so if you do it for a while transition back to something you can do so that you can also have time and spend with your family and watch over your kids mm -hmm. like I what do you about coding <laughs> please leave my sister alone okay so yes Nyaki is tough don't get me wrong we all did the million jobs we did all this crazy stuff but Omo, this IT space just brought us peace of mind when I, when I tell you peace of mind, peace of mind. If you do business analysis, I'm starting a new class on April 1st, April 1st, and it's going to run both in the afternoon and then at night. You can choose to join anyone. Again, you can choose to reach out to us on the, on the text message that you see. I mean, on the number 860 plus 1-860-634-833. Um, you see, mm. you can join that class. That class is 20 days bootcamp. You can ask me all the questions in the world. Everything where your mind go ask. You, 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 you feel ask me. It's a coaching class, it's a bootcamp. I will teach you, and then as well, I will coach you. Mm. Yes. If you come to the free class first weekend in the month of April 6th and 7th, where I will teach you Safe Scrum Master. You can ask me any question you want to ask me. I'm always willing to tell you, but it is only when you begin to seek for my one-on-one. -on -one. That's when you know that, okay, he's a coach. 
he needs to be paid. Shoe get size. Shoe get size. Hmm. But as long as Boy, don't come, give you thumbs up. Try to come to the Zit masterclass. That one is $150. It is two days. It's going to be about six to ten hours. I will give you all that guidance that will make you make that decision of what you want to do. Yeah. Yes. That's what you guys want to use my head. Somebody to do. says, I want to learn Scrum. Okay, That's fine. The guy right, right there. Let's Let me come, give you the number. Hold on, guys. Take down this number. Get a pen and a paper. Get your phone notepad. This is the most important part of the session. Because at the end of the day, you say preach, preacher, nod your head and all. But then the preacher don't go in house, go meet in wife, go chopping for more way, one chop. You, the message, Nati, you see him again. But the action point is, all you need to do is just send, hello, I just saw you on Daddy Freeze Live. I'm interested. Even if you go sleep, forget. Anytime you remember, re uh, respond to you, the conversation continues. The number is, take the number down now, plus one. Eight six zero six three four eight three three six. I'm gonna take that number again, but don't forget you can also email coaching at zedworldwide.com. Zed is spelled Z E E D or Z E E D. World W O R L D wide w i d e dot com zedworldwide dot com coaching at zedworldwide dot com send an email now to that number many of you someone said pin the number is right there pinned some of you are better at whatsapp all of you get whatsapp inside our whatsapp you they toast people girlfriend they toast people wife this is an opportunity for your whatsapp to be useful for more than gossip that's Take right the number down again plus one eight six zero six three four eight three three six i'll take the number one more time plus one eight six zero six three four eight three three six send a whatsapp message right now and pick up the conversation with Coach Wilfred Asikwa. Continue. Now, Wilfred. Some of you might be skeptic. What, how about I didn't attend college? Oh, I attended Polytechnic. Oh, I did this in the university. That doesn't matter as of today. I mm. have people who had no degree. They are working and making mad six figure. Yes. Mm. Mad six figure. He had no degree. As a matter of fact, I have three of them. Now, regardless of which college you attended, it doesn't define you. I attended the polytechnic and I studied applied chemistry. Today, I am not working with that degree. It only serves as energy. And for those of you that care to know, I got my master's without PGD, but I had HIV. I had How did you get your master's without PGD? Let's even talk about that. How was yeah. that? So there's something called um, um, evaluation. So you, you, you will transcribe your result with a body called WES, World Education Service, www.wes.org. Mm -hmm. Those ones will give you an equivalent of your credit. So they gave me an equivalent of what I graduated with, and they gave me bachelor's. So with that, I used it to apply directly for my master's, and that was it. Well, how, what was your grade leaving uh, Polytechnic? I had um, 3.2 something. So after they evaluated it, it came to 3.15. 3.2. Okay, but that is a second class upper, or? He was, he was an upper credit. Upper credit. Yes. Upper credit. Mm. So it was transcribed. Now, likewise to even those of you that you want to come for grad school, which I also offer that guidance. If you want to secure scholarship here in North America with your HND, with your bachelor's, whatever that you have, as long as you're ready to put in the work. And please, this is a caveat. Do not reach out to me on behalf of somebody. I will not listen to you. Mm. 
whoever mm. that you must be. Mm. If you reach out to me, we have your family in that regard, I will not stay on that person. Distraction. So, regardless of who you attended, mm. you so stop shoving your setback on or excuses on, oh, if I had studied this, if I had studied that, or if I went to this college, or if I went to that college. It doesn't count. Maybe your poor parents is what you want to give an excuse to. Okay, fine. Your parents were poor. Now that you have grown, you are 25. How come you have not become rich? If it was easy, or you are a runner. If you are hmm. in 2024 and you are still complaining about your parents, your parents status and all that, you are the status yourself. Hmm. And then I talk about Godfather all the time. You don't need Godfather to do this. That's why I love America. If I need to switch my job, I just get up, apply, go on internet and apply and I compete with every other person and I'll switch my job. I'll still make the six math six figures. That if it was aware when I was looking for a new job, when I wanted to buy this house, I just went online and applied. I did interview and I got a new job that met my need ASAP. So I moved from Polytechnic, I did minor jobs. Then from there, I got a job as a, as in aviation, as a cabin crew, worked as a cabin crew for a while with Arik Air. Then I came to the US. That's when I came to train as a pilot. Remember, I studied applied chemistry. From applied chemistry, I went into aviation. From aviation, I came to the US, worked in the healthcare space for a while before I moved into the IT. So when it comes to transition, Omo, I'm the king of transition. Hmm. If I just need it, I will transition. As long as it's a legit money I will make there, I will choke my head in there. So I have worked as a business and data analyst. I was in the healthcare industry. I moved on to work as an agile coach in a, in, in a utility company, Pacific Gas Electric. I'm currently working in a logistic company as a product manager. It's a tech company, actually. So you can see that I have transitioned over the last nine years. I took my time to build a path and grow. So what are you doing with your time now as a young man? By the time you want mm -hmm. to get an now like us, like Daddy Freeze, do you still want to be begging for money? Or do you still want to leave complaining? You're supposed to be boiling. So we presented to you this opportunity so that you can tap into it. This was the reason why I set up Zit Worldwide, to be able to share and expose most of these things to a lot of young people. That is reason I have come to realize that Forex and cryptocurrency is an executive way that our oldies used to make some money. Mm. S E A M. I mean, we don't want to get into it, but it's a corporate way of doing it. And if you are good at it, you can do it. But here's my caveat. If you are just starting work and you know the money you are making, is not good enough it's not plenty enough don't risk it hmm. with forex or cryptocurrency don't say i didn't tell you i have a lot of clients who are fallen victim if they did not have something to fall back on they will go bankrupt they will go back and begin to complain that is not what i want you to find yourself doing if you are making money when you just finished school or you just got this corporate job invest in improving yourself the more hmm. create that comfort zone to become a subject matter expert in that field hmm. global certifications will set you apart when i tell you i have 31 certifications nobody sees my certificate i mean my my credentials or my resume doesn't feel intimidated you want to talk to me you want to give hmm. me hands with my resume, I can apply to nine jobs, seven to nine jobs at the same time with one resume. Hmm. Those are the things I bring to the table to share with you. It's not something that I'm told. It's something I'm doing. It took me time to learn them. It took me time to grow in the space. And if you don't mind, allow me to take you on the walk. Before I... I'm trying not to let uh, Instagram cut this life because i know they might cut this live anytime soon <laughs> hear me out i have an easter promo with two thousand six hundred and fifty dollars hear me what you will get you'll get that safe scrum master 
you get the safe product owner product manager you will also have 20 days business analysis with me 20 days business analysis with me and then you will also have a two weeks one-on-one -on -one. Hmm. take advantage of this offer that's all those things i'm mentioning supposed to be three thousand seven hundred dollars but i'm offering it till april 5th till april 5th take note april 5th you're not gonna get it and i'm not doing installments two thousand six hundred and fifty dollars i'm taking off a thousand fifty dollars away from it hmm. if it's something you want to do is a combo and this is something you can do all within one month and if you succeed to do this okay i have a community i call community of practice it's not something you pay to join it is my community that i put you up to mentor you until you get a job but you would have had to meet all the expectations for that two thousand six hundred and fifty dollars it's a lot of work guys it's a lot, lot of work i am emphasizing it if you know you're not putting the work don't bother to come here it's a lot of don't work. just waste your time don't waste your time don't waste your money it's a lot of work you have to fix your resume you have to create your linkedin you have to set up those job portals you have to prep yourself on how to present yourself tell me about yourself you should be able to articulate it that's where i come in as a coach so your communication has to be on point if you're having too many space fillers you need to shed them off that's my duty as a coach to fix you that we can get that done in two weeks but with the 20 days bootcamp of ba that should polish you completely if you are willing to learn now if you meet all, all this in one month gladly on my own you don't need to ask me i will add you up to my community where you will network a lot of my alumni and you will learn from other people who are in the space in this journey to the six-figure space it is not part of the budget but that's something from me to you so i can see you succeed so if you want to venture into 